Welcome. I'm Stefan. This is Graham. This is Travis. And we are three different ones. This is your first time here. Uh, feel free to like our video and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date with our content. And uh, if you're returning to us, welcome back. Uh, we have been discussing albums released between 65 and 2021. And today we are doing, it is a very special uh, right. occasion. It's a big our, one. Uh, we are doing Animals by Pink Floyd, uh, the album that produced uh, our, the name of our humble little show. Uh, the, <laughs> it's, uh, Three different ones. Indeed. Yep. Oh, indeed. Yeah. Uh, I remember clearly my mom giving the older brother a copy of The Wall, I think for his birthday one year. That was my intro to Pink yeah. Floyd, that album. I, I took to it immediately. It was so different in the best possible way. How old were y'all at the time? He, I, I want to say, I was probably 12. Um, I, I want to say he was just starting high school when he, he got that yeah. album. It might have been a little before that, but I, I feel like that's the, that was my introduction to this band. Uh, but thankfully, I was experiencing Animals, an album I'd heard about many times. Uh, obviously, I'd heard stories about them like releasing the animal balloons into the crowd and mm. before and I I I'd heard of this album. I never I never listened to it though. I'd heard segments of a few of the songs, but I had never just sat down to go through it start to finish. So this was a uh, for, for I I've, I've been a fan of theirs for a pretty long time, but uh, this was my first time going through uh, animals. I I'm guessing you were you'd heard this before. Um yeah, many times. Yeah. Um I, I actually remember like the first time listening to the whole thing um, was at some point in either like eighth grade or ninth grade. I remember buying animals on iTunes, putting nice. it on the iPod. Oh yes. And uh, I guess when I was, um, yeah, when when I did that, I used to like listen to some music before I went to bed, like lay down with the earbuds, and I was like, all right, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. Did you like it? I did. I did. It was incredible. Such long tracks at that age. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure I would have appreciated it if I'd heard it yeah. when I was yeah. when I was younger. But I mean, the album is a short album, right? That's yeah, the thing. that's true. And I think I had heard Dark Side um, and other singles. I don't know if I had listened to any other albums in full besides Dark Side of the Moon. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, I love this, and I've, you know, heard it, you know, I don't know, 30, 40 times, probably. What about you? Uh, I'm trying to think. When I first heard this album, honestly, I feel like you kind of turned me on to this album. Yeah, yeah. I always, you know, listen to Dark Side forever, and my first Pink Floyd songs were probably stuff on the radio, like... Welcome to the Machine, mm -hmm. or Have a Cigar, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, I mean, you never hear any of these tracks on the radio, obviously. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess not. I don't think I ever have. I, I want to say maybe Pigs I've heard on the radio. Yeah. But that's a really long song. Right. Yeah. Maybe I'm... Maybe <laughs> I was maybe sure it's, not, sure it's not Pigs on the Wing? Um, well, <laughs> no, it's not, but that, yeah. would, that would be a little more... Uh, acceptable. Yeah. Right? God. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I slept on this album for a long time. Yeah. Like I, I really didn't appreciate what it was until sometime within the last decade. Yeah. I would say. So yeah. for me, it would have been college. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No time in high school. Yeah, it's totally different than, uh, you know, Dark Side, where there are like, you know, 12 different songs or right. something like that. Um, this is three giant songs that are bookended by these little, like, you know, one minute long right. songs, which I think is a really cool format. Yeah. For yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love how uh, a Pigs on the Wing kind of intros it. Yeah. And it kind of fades into the long right. epic. It's like it tees you up and then it concludes <laughs> right, very nicely. Right. Little bookend. Yeah. 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 Yep. And do you want to? Anything else you wanted to add on Pigs on the Wing? It's it's such a... Um, I I like the song. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... You were uh, saying, it's a, is it... It might have been based on a, or about Roger Waters' 
wife? Um, yeah, it's about a relationship. Right. I guess he had just got married. Right. Um, Carolyn, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. One of them. One of the Carol names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just acoustic, right? There's nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure acoustic and vocals. Yeah. Waters. Yeah, I've always thought it was a cool song. It right. is. It it sounds like it could have come from like a cringy kids show. <laughs> I, I, I I liked it. Yeah. I liked yeah. it. You know, truth be told though, and I mean it is a good I like both of them, but anytime I listen to this album I just start with dogs. Yeah. 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 If I'm Yeah, unless I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna listen to animals. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's like a minute Which detour I, out I, of the way. But. I think if I'm going to listen to any Pink Floyd in its entirety, it'll be this one. Like, rather than Dark Side or something, where I'll kind of switch around. Which is, I mean, I've, I've listened to <laughs> I've listened to Dark Side the plenty of times. Animals. The animals are coming in. All the way yeah, the discussion. Here come the animals. Yep. Um, I mean, I've listened to probably all of them all the way through. But this is the one that I'm like, okay... This might be my favorite one of theirs. I think this is their best album. Really? Yeah. 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 I would say so. Careful with that glass. Surge. Is this, uh, uh, uh is did uh, any song in particular, or is it the whole experience that just kind of does it for you? I, mean, I was gonna ask y'all, dogs, mm -hmm. pigs, or sheep. It's I, honestly, if I hadn't been um, like I had the the link for mm -hmm. each song written down. Uh, and I guess the the animal noises that they <laughs> that they they have, it didn't really. I don't know. It felt like just one kind of continuous stream of yeah. the stream of musical consciousness almost. And then the the only real noticeable changeover was for the the opening and the closure. Mm. Yeah, so I, was, I feel like I go back and forth on pigs and dogs. Yeah, right now on pigs. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say maybe dogs, but yeah, I'm with you. Like those two, and then sheep. Sheep is just a jam. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that song. I mean, it, it's never my number one. Right, but right. It's it's a great. It doesn't song. have quite the like epic yeah. quality that these two have. That's the perfect word. I mean, they yeah. are epic songs. Like, yeah, there's so many different parts. Yeah, to them. very like kind of cinematic. Yeah, just like soaring dark yeah yes i don't know yeah so many different dynamics yeah yeah and then that fade in intro of dogs mm -hmm. is just so cool it gives me yes. chills yes yep. yes the, what is it a is it a farifsa farfisa organ i think farfisa farfisa yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like how it kind of fades into okay. with just the acoustic so that's what that is yeah okay. yeah lots of different mm -hmm. keyboard yeah. synth organ sounds right. um richard wright their keyboard player um who you know everybody's contribution to this album was pretty minimal except for roger waters who you know wrote all the songs um that being said the, the song credits there's some controversy there where it's yes. like yeah it's like he kind of uh I don't know, fought for, you know, having his name under all the songs, right. whereas, like, I don't think Rick Wright is even credited at all on this yeah. album, which is insane, yep. because, like, you know, his keyboard work on it is great. Yeah. Yes. E even, if, instrumental yes. even if Roger laid out, you know, here are the chords I want here, here, you know, Rick Wright, David Gilmore, they wrote their parts, yes. picked the sounds, and right. all just really cool um, and you kind of get to hear them like jam, kind of long form. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're uh, yeah unorthodox structure because the songs are so flipping long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gilmore solos and dogs pretty mm -hmm. early on. Which and... What's your favorite of the three? Of the three solos, yeah. Of Ooh. the three solos and Gosh. dogs, what's your favorite? Oh. Three different ones. <sighs> I know, it's like, oh what, what is, what's the significance yeah. of threes on this album? Because there's three big songs. There's there are. three different mentions of pigs. Yeah. There's I, specifically three different ones. There's three guitar solos. Like, what is up with that, three on this album? Man, I, I don't know. Does three it's, have any... I don't know. Um, I wonder if there's any tie in the 
Animal Farm. Like, yes, in, in, yes. Ter- well, in terms I, of the threes deal. Oh. Uh, like, that I don't know. I don't remember. I've read Animal Farm. I, I don't... I don't remember if that's a line from it or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, God, yeah. I, sound off in the comments if you got yes. any insight for on all the days. for all the George Orwell fans out there. Please, please <laughs> uh, correct us if we're, yeah. we're off base here. But yeah, that f- back to the solos though. That oh, that first right. one is just so iconic. Yes, yeah. the first rip into it, and that one stands out. And the lyrics like leading right into that are mm. like. Potentially my favorite of all time from yeah. Pink Floyd. Sad old man dying of the, cancer made me sit up straighter, man. I was like, yeah. oh my god. Just, I'll, yeah, I'll never yeah, forget the just, first time I heard the line. It's you have to be trusted by the people that you lie to, so that when they turn their backs on you, you'll get the chance to put the knife in. Yeah. I always thought that was just like the most oh. cutthroat. Like, yeah. Oh, that's a very. It's great. That's a very telling lyric yeah, for very, sure. I mean, it's, it's pretty special. much what the song's about. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Business world. Yeah, yeah. You know, just super cutthroat, dog-eat-dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think it's some of Gilmore's best guitar work. Yeah. And a totally different kind of style for him. Like, he's he's still very melodic, and um, I feel like in this one, he, he plays some really kind of, kind of dissonant and kind of super unsettling lines. Yep. Um, and then... I love those harmonies where it's like two guitar solos going. Mm-hmm. I love that. There, there's a great point mm-hmm. where the song kind of resolves into <laughs> yeah. a uh, kind of a major sound. Is that at three minutes, 40 seconds? Possibly. I think that's like the first change. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's that. That's my mark. 3.42, yep. slow down. Right. And the yeah, guitar I, starts I, taking I feel over. like it's, it's a little after that initial slow down where it really kind of... Oh, it's, the, uh, it's at 4.30. Okay. Yeah, because it's like that kind of slows down into that dark, yeah. dissonant sound, and then at four thirty, that's when it's is that the like harmony bend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then it's like all kind of positive upbeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's guitar. Yeah. The yeah. wee sound. <laughs> yeah. That's, I I couldn't tell if that was keys or synth or what. Um, like I, I was. Yeah, that I don't think there's synth. That harmonizes with that. I'm I'm pretty sure all I'm hearing are two guitars. Yeah. Okay. At least okay. two. Yeah. On that bending part. Yeah. Okay. And then it's right back into darkness at four forty five. Yeah. Fifteen seconds later with the dogs barking. Yeah. I wanted to ask y'all about that. It's sampled from uh oh my god. Hundred and one Dalmatian. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All dogs go to heaven. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. No, it's from uh I thought it was from something they did really early on. Oh, it's like Seamus. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it's the dogs from that, like oh, wow. resampled on this track. Wow. Yep. Never knew that. Is that an album or a song? Uh, a song, song off metal. metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is metal on our list? It's not. I on mine. might have put it on mine. Let's add it. You yeah. should do everything for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's on a lot of my list. Even the endless river. I like. It. Yeah. Oh. My yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the little keys dub too after the barking dogs. I mm. really like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the groove behind the solo at 530. I guess solo mm. number two. Yeah. It's real groove heavy. Yeah. I love how they just go on these extended instrumental breaks. Right. Just get to hear how you know right. unique of a band they were. Yeah, and then like it two minutes later it gets really funky. Yeah. 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 Real keys heavy and right. I love that. It's fair to call it's like a jam bandy sound. Well, it? Or, or not? I think That's epic was the right word. Okay. Like it, it. I don't know. When I think of jam band, I think of kind of happier stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I could see. This seems so structured though. Like yeah. jam bandy seems it just kind yeah. of like goes off and they're jamming and. Sure. Whereas this is like there are specific parts. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Epic is. But but I could imagine like Fish has probably covered a few songs off this. Yeah. I would think. Um, didn't Primus, mm-hmm. which is not or, really uh, a jam band. Les Claypool's Frog Brigade. Brigade. <laughs> there you go. I think it's the only full cover of this album out there. And I, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Full recorded version of yep. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
I, I can believe that. It's an ambitious... I don't know how many bands could pull that off. I know. Um, yeah, what else about dogs? It kind of returns to form at, what, 13 minutes? 12.45. 12 yeah. I heard the, the acoustic come back. Right. And then, boom, third solo. 1326. Yeah. The Gilmore riffs there at the end. Mm -hmm. That that's probably my, my and then favorite. Kind of my back favorite. to the, the chill. This little climb down. Yes. As, <laughs> assuming that's him doing that guitar section. Oh yeah. Which yeah. I, I figured it was. Oh yeah. I mean he's the only guitar player. There was some confusion. I think it was the uh, when he was he read an interview with him. He's talking about pigs, where he's like hit the the bass. Who gets credit for the bass in that song is kind of up for dispute. Cause, like, they both play it. He played yeah. the. It's a fretless. Oh really. Yeah. That's Gilmore on bass yeah. for the like intro bass riff on Pigs. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yes. I've and never then heard of that. Yeah. they trade vocals on that too. Yes. yes. On uh, Pigs. Yes. yes. It's I think it's Waters first. Okay. Then it's Gilmore. Then it's back to Waters. Okay. Okay. Which I never knew. I was kind of digging into it a little deeper. I didn't know the thing about the bass either. Yeah, that's. that's it's like it's like he like Waters wrote it or he was doing that and but Gilmore played it for that song mm. it's it, it's kind of up for debate yeah, it would yeah. seem I mean I think Waters is a solid bass player oh yeah I mean, yeah and the bass sound like the, the music the rhythm section just sounds great oh yeah you know super tight I mean as all Pink Floyd albums it sounds amazing right. yes just a huge sound yep well on the topic of that bass line you want to get into pigs yep um yeah, I was just gonna Winking. I was just gonna touch on the kind of epic closing of dogs, yeah. the who was you know what whatever that section would be called. Right. But just big sweeping outro, real epic. Yeah. Oh yeah. The and man gets a shout out at the yeah, sixteen yeah. minute mark. Oh, I yeah. I laughed out loud at that uh, part. Yeah. Was, yeah. In, in in a good way. Yeah. Like it was it's uh <laughs> The Man. Yeah. Is it because of Jack Black and School of Rock that that's... No, I don't, I mean, because that's like a, that's a term that's really associated with, you know, a lot of the bands of this era. Sure, and it's, sure. And it's, uh, it's, it's kind of become a cliche, and it, it's comforting to know that it, it actually is like a, a yeah, thing that's, yeah. it's, you know. Yeah. It's almost... Good. I feel like yeah. I feel like the, the Jack Black thing almost made it like a like a joke, right? <laughs> right. Which it is. That's I mean, it's funny. Stupid, like I, I, I'm a fan of that movie. Right, right. It's like it, it is. Uh, it, it it is based in some reality. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a kind of an anti-establishment. I, I like the lyrics on this oh, oh, yeah. album. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No knock on it. Like yeah. uh, the winking, I think is. <laughs> Top tier. I yeah, was going to yeah. ask if the, the animal poetry. sounds, uh, what y'all thought. If the, do y'all like it? I do. I mean, it's... It works. You know, it's... Um, they don't lean on it. Very, so it's, yeah. it's fine. It's something you'd find in a concept album yeah. by, you know, right. a psychedelic rock band. It doesn't bother me. No. No, no. I, I think it's cool. It creates a cool atmosphere. Right. Like, you can lean on that kind of stuff too much. Right, for sure. If you don't have other substance, like great songs, great arrangements, then it's going to be a little hokey. But right. I think it's awesome. Yeah. No, I, agree. I can't imagine it without... You know, yeah. pigs and that the little ultimate intro. lead in. Just you, a, these songs are <laughs> over 10 minutes long. I mean, you might yeah. as well. Yeah, man. Might as well. Sure. I like the uh, that first like guitar chord echo in pigs, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Is yeah, it? yeah. The the whole intro of pigs, you could just it's talk about amazing. for 10 minutes. Like, it's iconic. Awesome yeah. build up. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, the cinematic feel, like you said, is, is very yeah. much. Yeah, it, it's pretty dark. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, I just picture like kind of like stormy, you yep. know, skies. Yep. And, like, just dirty. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dark, dark the, dirty. The album cover, really. Yeah. Like, I feel like that it's album cover perfect. is the perfect picture for... For yeah. this music, it's just a factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Overcast. Yeah, but I mean the music's really beautiful too. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it very is. dark and bleak, but like, uh, you it's, know, it's not a it's not a drag listening to it. Oh no, it's no. really it's it's it's. They they knew how to arrange stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the pigs are, I guess, what upper class is what that's yeah. referencing. Yeah. Yes. The wealthy. Yes. 
the yeah. top class. The, uh, yeah. Top of the social ladder. Right. I, I, I've never really dug, like, too much into the, like, the meaning and the lyrics. Like, I know that it relates to Animal Farm, right. but it also differs from it. Yeah. Whereas this is a critique of, uh, of England capitalism. Right. Um, whereas Animal Farm, something else. Right. I think that actually is a critique. I think this is twisted a little, though. Like, it's not perfectly in line with it. No, no. Right, there, there are differences, because right. the... I can't remember, maybe it was dogs, something about it. It's, like, spun off in a different way in the song than it is in the book. Yeah, and, like, in, in the album, um, what, the sheep rise up and kill the dogs, which I, I've never really picked up on until I was reading about it. Right. Like, I guess I'm just so focused on the music. Yeah. I yeah. I, Easy I, to do. Yeah. I, no, I, I was, I was kind of, I, I, I was, I was dazzled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so, so much like, to digest. It, 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 I just, I feel it's like... dense. Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, I, I like the lyrics. It's just the subtext that they have. And any Orwellian uh, influence this had, this was like the last thing on my right. mind. I yeah. was yeah. typing yeah. on my yeah. notes for this. Right. So it very just well a, could be there. The cherry on top. I mean, yeah. props to them. You, I mean, you just get a, a sense of, uh, you know, dissatisfaction, oh, cynicism. Yeah. There's, a, there's a melancholy theme. Yeah, yeah, for right. sure. And some, you know, just anger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, some lashing out. Comes yeah, through. yeah. Definitely. On the uh, topic of the fretless bass thing, I forgot to. I read that Waters played rhythm guitar when that, like, in parts of the song. Uh, oh, really? Yep. Which okay. I thought was really odd. Okay, so they kind of <laughs> yeah. wanted to trade, maybe. Yeah. That's, yep. that's kind of a cool thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you hear about so much, like, tension. I, I wonder if that was, like, a thing where it's like... Right. Like, hey, man, you want to trade parts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it, it just I'm seems... I'm sure tension was building with this album. Yeah, it's hard to know. Like, uh, the, but, but yeah. The timeline. I mean, yeah. Like, a couple years after it, in between this and the wall, Richard Wright was officially fired. Yep. Their keyboard player. Right. And I, I don't really know why, like, he, I know he got into drugs at some point, but I don't know, Waters was just kind of, uh... So dominant. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, he, you know, was uh, an integral part of the band, but, sure. uh, you know, he definitely pissed some people off. Yeah, yeah. Um, understatement. Yeah. What about the, uh, I mean, there's guitar solo in this. There's talk box. Talk box yeah. it was, I, I was going to ask, that they did the Peter Frampton thing. On you know, um, well, it, this was, I guess, after the Peter Frampton album, right? Frampton Comes Alive. Is that? I don't know if that's when he's, I, I need to, I need I to check that because. That's just what I associate with. Similar time. Like the, the sound that, uh, that his you know, the signature more Frank, more more yeah, more. like <laughs> the Charlie Brown parents sound, like <laughs> And I mean, okay, so the Frampton came before, um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying they stole oh, it from no. him, by the way. Because it has a totally different effect, yeah. yeah, where it's like, yeah. It just reminded me of that, that's oh, what yeah, came yeah. to mind, and I was right. listening to it, to Pigs. Yeah, I mean, and, that's the, the first movie. name that comes to mind if you look up Talkbox. Yeah. yeah. 100%. But, yeah. uh. Yeah, who knows? Maybe Gilmore was like, "That's cool. Like, what is he doing?" It works. Oh like, yeah, I, I was. <laughs> it imitates that pig squeal. Yeah. So, yeah. think about that. The the bass line sounded yeah. piggish too, like kind of winky. Yeah. Like in the yeah. tone. Yeah. Thought that was kind of funny. It is winky. <laughs> the little the four eleven <laughs> winking interlude. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Four eleven. Weird effects on the oinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I like the oinks. Oh, yeah. I like how dark this song feels. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. Good jamming again. Like, they yeah. just lock into that groove. Kind of reminds me of uh, the song from Metal Echoes. Yeah. When there's just a bunch of noise and swirling stuff, and then all of a sudden they kind of lock into a yep. simple, just all tight <laughs> groove. Yep. There's a little cowbell going. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Keeping with the farm thing. Yeah, exactly. There. Exactly. Great underrated use of cowbell. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, you would never think to be like, you need some cowbell for this super dark song. No. Pigs, cow. Cowbell, right, 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 cowbell right. cheers me up, <laughs> no, though. No. Cowbell, it, it, it's a fun sound. But in this context, is it? 
No, no. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's in keeping with the yeah. darker tone. Um, I could have sworn near the end it was a little harmonica. Um, let me think about that. It's it's very it, it's very understated. It's not like a yeah. like a blaring solo. It might have just been the talk more box talk fading box. out. Could be. I was going to say I think it was more talk box. It probably yeah. was. But you it, mentioned uh, Gilmore on this like kind of a departure from his previous style like he shreds yeah, the outro of this song yeah. like shredding i know he's, <laughs> he's awesome on this i mean I he's all, always great right but this is one of my just favorites goes off and i believe for you nerds out there he's playing a telecaster on this album rather than his uh, typical strat right um it kind of gives him a little more biting edge yeah, yeah. um but yeah so again, the top top tier Gilmore solo. Oh yeah, yeah, you know I love how it just the shred kind of fades into sheep. Yeah. Open with that with bad that, that soft, sound. That soft keys intro. <laughs> oh yeah, the Fender Rhodes. Yep. Keyboard <laughs> into that just rolling bass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. This song, I, it sounds kind of silly, but like, if I was in like a dog fight. Like flying a plane, like this is the song mm. I would want playing. Was there a plane sound right before the singing started? It sounded like like that rush of uh, when you hear the, the the air coming out of the engine. Maybe so. Right at the start, but it, it just reminds so. me of like yeah, there is kind of a swirling like yeah, shh. yeah, like the the approaching or the the plane's taking off. Like it might I, might be a synthesizer. But uh, might might be some kind of uh, oh I know what you're talking about there yeah it sounds like, like an air current right thing. It, yeah. it's cool too yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, it's a great pump to yeah. it yeah yeah I don't know I just imagine myself like spiraling and like trying to like lose somebody in a plane yeah. while this is playing and like it's like bang you know just it, yeah it, I don't know it, again just that cinematic kind of feel. This this song has that kind of pulsing beat through it. It's all just the constant bass, rolling bass. The bass is so important in yeah. this song. It keeps the, that running oh, yeah. stability there because the guitars are all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it's just constant. But it almost becomes like kind of a heartbeat, like the it's like yeah. the pulse of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost kind of like metally, yeah, but not metal. It's in a heavy in a comforting way, though. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, though, I, this might have, like, my favorite moment on the entire album when that keys part comes in. Yeah. The weirdest, like... Yeah. I, it's so sinister sounding. Yeah. Like, I know what you're talking about. It gets so weird. I yeah. think it's at, like, 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah. It's like... Just their choice of synthesizers and yeah. keyboards. I lose track of what instrument I'm hearing. Oh, Even yeah. with headphones, like, I, I just... It, it just seems like they've always got like a, a music store's worth of instruments yeah. when they do these <laughs> albums. So I just like I just like I just like the sound. Like at some point I stop guessing. Right. What is that? Right. But pretty much on this, if you if you're wondering, it's it's going to be a synthesizer or a keyboard. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, that that sound you're talking about is just the greatest. It's so dark. Yeah. And dissonant. Really like deep. Yeah. It, it just like. I don't know. It, it makes me think of the album cover too, like the whole factory thing and mm -hmm. like the dark clouds of smoke. Like yeah. that synth sound, yeah. for whatever reason, just it fits so well with that. Yeah, I agree. I, I can't explain it. Yeah, it and just it works. Just so to be perfectly. clear, it's kind of when things kind of slow down. Yeah, and, and it almost like, fade, and then yeah. yeah, and it like it's like they walk in line with the bass line. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's like the bass is just thumping along, and it's like. Yeah, and they come down yeah. the pitch with it, yeah. and then it drops again. He's almost getting like kind of orchestra sounds, like mm -hmm. you think of like cellos and stuff. And if you read like the credits, you know it's like Richard Wright plays the string synth, so they're like synthesizers to imitate, you know, orchestra sounds, like the opening of pigs or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't um, know. Did y'all notice the robot voice? Yeah, that's what I had <laughs> at the six and a half minute mark. Yeah. It's a robot voice. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's like. Kind of interesting. <laughs> yes, and it got the. I don't even know how to describe the the, the music at that point in the song. Um, like it, it just. It's like a a feet outro sound on yeah. guitar. <sighs> that that the high guitar chords. Yeah. Cut right. Coming off of all the 
dark stuff. The weirdness. Oh, 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 so we're past the robot boys? Yes. Oh, yes. I mean, I, yeah. I, I just, I, I have nothing more to add. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fully robot support them voice. in robot voice. I've got no yeah. problem with it. It's almost unexpected. Yes. Maybe. Yes, it is. So. Well, the, kind of like the, you know, the a big criticism of, like, factory life is, like, it dehumanizes people. Mm -hmm, yeah. And, like, so, you know, it, you know, I could see it tying in with sure, the, sure. Some, a broader critique. Sure, right. all the sheep that work in the factories. Yeah. I don't know, too, like, timing-wise, but 2112, like, Rush is 2112 mm -hmm. in, like, the outro of this song, and even, like, the robot voice part. Like, those chords just mm. seem so, like, Rush-esque to me. I could see, you know what I mean? uh, so, did 2112 come out before this album? Uh, this is 77. Seven. 2112 is like 76, right? It is. I, for some Let's reason, see. I don't picture Pink Floyd being in the rush. Me neither. No, but just more the other way around. Yes. 76. Okay, yeah. Okay. Is when that came Fair out. first. Yeah. I'm with you, though. I, I don't... Yeah. I, I don't know. It just... The way, like... It's the similar. chords at the end yeah. just reminded me of... I could see that. Me, too. Life's in a little see odd that. way. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. I I love the... Yeah, those guitar just big crashes of sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cuts right through it. Yeah, man. yeah. It's so, so clear. Yeah. Even with that, even with that, like, it's canceling deal. It's it's, it, it's it's very apparent. Yeah, yeah. There's just great, like, you know, quiet, loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, crashes. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I like how Shoot. it fades back into the acoustic with waters just... Oh, into Pigs, pigs on, on the, the Wing again? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's like the perfect segue into... Right. I was like gonna. Elus. I was gonna. I'm, I was gonna ask you about that because it's like it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't end on a real punch, but it's still a strong finish. Yeah, I no, think. It, like it's, it's a, perfect. It is. I think. Yeah, a lot of contrast. It works. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like the beginning of a. Like, it's like storybook or something. It's like yeah. It's, the song itself is not a strong song, no, but it's like no. it's the perfect close yes. to the album. Sure. Like, I, sure. I have a hard time listening to this out like to a song from the album. Like, I gotta listen to the whole thing. Mm. I feel yeah. that way with Dark Side, too, though. Like, yeah. I, I, it bothers me for one of, like, for one of these songs or, like, something off of Dark Side to show up on a playlist. Mm. Like, to yeah. hear the single track, and I'm like, oh, sweet. Yeah. It's about to go into the next track, and then it's like, oh, here's another random song. Yeah. And I'm like, That'd be I have to take it in just a solid Well, it's swoop. like, you better be ready to sit down for 40 yeah. minutes. But it yeah. goes by so quickly. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I agree. Both of those, it doesn't, to me. It doesn't really meander. I mean, no. you've got to be a patient listener to dig this album, but I still think that it's structured in a way where it's like, you're not going to get bored. Yeah. It's um, a lot to digest. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it... The Wall is the other album where they kind of bookend it by the similar right. opening and ending. They yeah. have that little kind of organ right. sounding thing. I love The Wall. I think it works better on Animals, personally. I like Animals infinitely more than I like The Wall. Yeah, I'm kind personally. of with you. I'm, I'm definitely with you. I mean, I, honestly, I, I rarely li ever listen to The Wall. Yeah, I'm, I, I haven't been able to... Uh, you know, I've, of course, listen to it, and I like it, but it, it's just not one that I'm like, hey, I want to sit down. Well, this for, is pretty much one. It's like it's like two hours long. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it? Two, it's a double album. It's yes, huge. it is. This one's like the perfect length. Um, to me, it's more uh, musically interesting than the Wall. Yeah. Absolutely, more it is. pleasant. Oh yeah. 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 To your point too about just like you know, the start and the intro, like it fitting perfectly. Same thing with Dark Side with the heartbeat pulse. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You know what I mean? It, it feeds in and it oh, goes out. That. Yeah, they love the that. Yeah, they love it's that. interesting. It's, it's their thing, man. I'm gonna say overall that if I had to pick a 10 out of 10 album, this is probably it. This is probably the first 10 out of 10 I've come across yeah. since we've been doing these. I. I I don't know how you make it any better. Yeah. It's just everything works. It's It's got everything I want. The 
the link's good, the musicianship's great, production's great, yeah, content's great. I mean, it, it's it's perfect. The the only <laughs> way the, the only way I I think uh, I could have seen myself not calling it pretty much perfect was if it had overstayed its welcome, and I was not I was not watching the clock at all on That's good. this. I I saw it was forty minutes. I was surprised by how long the songs were. It did feel long. I, I, I was I, I was hooked. Yeah, I was had yeah. right from the get go, <laughs> and uh, you, you know I, I I can't. Yeah, I uh, I'm not sure I'd recommend it, but I'm definitely gonna listen to it again. And when I do, I, I think I gotta side with Travis on this one. I can't see myself just randomly listening to Sheep. I think I'd <laughs> want to play the whole thing start to yeah, finish yeah. if I went through it again. Just like set some time aside to go back through it. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I it's just, a specific recommendation. It is. For it, sure. Yeah, Depends on who we're talking to. It, that's that's the yeah. thing. Like it's uh when when we ask ourselves that for this, it's just like uh I, I don't know, just like someone I like a you know, like a, a friend from, from work or someone whose musical taste you don't know, like, particularly or intimately, just like, yeah. uh, hey, you know, you might like this. Like, I, this is, this could be very uh, off-putting for a lot of people. I sure. Think. I think some people don't know what to do during those long instrumental parts. Yes. Like, if you're into, like, hardcore punk or something, which this came out kind of when punk was becoming a thing, and people kind of sometimes say it's like a response to that huh. you know punk was supposed to be anti this you know bombastic uh indulgent soloing that you would find in all this prog rock stuff right um i don't know it says that in the wikipedia page I, I need to dig a little further into like how is this like a response to it i mean obviously long songs long instrumental Parts by really good musicians without losing you though, which is the great thing yeah. to me. Yeah, it's like um, if you can write a twenty-minute song that I don't get bored during, right? Because there's plenty of those. It never. Yeah, it, yeah there's yes. some by Pink Floyd that are that I, I find myself kind yeah. of sleeping on. Alan's psychedelic breakfast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, from uh, Wish You Were Here, Shine On You. Oh um, yeah. I sometimes find myself uh, checking the watch on that one. Dude, I, I'm sure I was just was triggered. Oh, are you mad? You <laughs> love that song? I, I do. Fair I do. enough. I love that We can song. talk about that one later. Is no. Wish You Were Here on the... We should do all the good Floyd albums. I know. All the seven. Separate movies. channel for Pink Floyd. Wow. Well, I don't know. We've got a, a Sid Barrett solo album on our oh, list. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The original founder... Isn't it? Yeah. Well, the I was gonna say, was he a founder? founder? That's a good question. I mean, I know he was there from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. I Maybe like, co-founder. I feel like I'm gonna say the wrong yeah. thing. Yeah. Don't want to slip no. up. <laughs> the hardcores are gonna come at me. Right. You would take them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. To your point, though, I don't think I don't think anything on here felt like ostentatious or. Uh, self-indulgent yeah. or it, it, yeah. it didn't feel like it dragged right to me. they're great songwriters no one was overly dominant oh. on this album right even though if you read about it it sounds like waters was yeah right. but you, it's you not ask like them. but if you listen to it yeah it's like man they were yeah they it worked yeah like yeah probably my favorite of theirs I give it a 10 out of 10. Yep. Like, I, I, it's yeah. the best album we've reviewed so far, in my opinion. Right. And we've done a couple that I think are really good, but like... How um, do you improve it? I know, that's that's yeah. the thing. Like, I would say it's their best. Yeah. It's my second favorite. Mm -hmm. Just uh, the nostalgia with Dark Side. Sure. But, yeah. you know, and, and Dark Side is... Uh, it's a 9.9 .9 for me. Oh, yeah. Because it's like... On the run. <laughs> yeah. Like, that ring uh, for you. Oh my gosh. That's it's so short though. I, it is, it is, it is, but there's none of that on this. Yeah. Yeah. This one feels a lot any... more solid, I guess. Yes. Yep. Even though we're just kind of nitpicking because dark side is like so. Oh my gosh, perfect. yeah. It's like I'd probably give it a ten too, unless we're gonna get into like decimal points. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I take back my 9-9. I'd give it a 10. 
Um, That's all I've got. Yeah, for what else? Does this sync up to any uh, movies? You know how Dark Side uh, syncs up uh, to I Mr. Wallace? I don't think so. Just because these songs are so... I, I mean, think it syncs up to The Song Remains the Same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. You just... You gotta play it backwards and... Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Sword <laughs> fighting Robert Plant. Yes. <laughs> we, we should review that. I know. We need to sit know. down and watch the we song. We should do some and... rock operas. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah, The Who and... Yeah, Pink Floyd. The band. Right. And we already did Lemonade. Yeah. Yeah, right. We did. Well... You have anything to add, or I, I, I'm, I'm tapped. On Check it one. out, definitely. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that's about all I've got on this. Um, yeah, would recommend. <laughs> ten really? out of ten, would recommend. Yeah. Okay. Oh my I feel gosh, like if yeah. you've watched, you got to check it this, out at least once. If you've watched okay. this show this far, you can listen to animals. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just, if you can last this long, if you've made it to the end of this episode, you can, you can. Well, clear, you clearly things. you're interested in yeah. something. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you. If you're still with us, uh, feel free to like, uh, hit subscribe. <laughs> and, and check this album out. Yeah. 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 Animals. Yeah. Check it out. Thank you Do so it. much.